Have you ever rotated viewports? The view marker rotates as well. Most projects like this example are laid out horizontally. This works well when placed on a typical sheet, which is also horizontal. But what about when you need to call out specific parts of the project, like this shop front, which is controlled by this scope box? When placed on a sheet, this view is presented vertically. Ideally, this view should be rotated to line up with the corresponding elevation above. But because I used the scope box function, this also grays out the view orientation. I can get around this by using this parameter which enables viewports to be rotated on a sheet. This means that those pesky view markers are now also rotated. In Revit, view markers are made from annotation families. So once I find the corresponding family, I can simply edit this. And here is one I prepared earlier. When loaded into the project, I can simply create a new type. and apply my new rotated annotation. But what about this pesky line? This is the extension line, which has a corresponding parameter and I can simply turn this off. Give it a go yourself and let me know what you think. Remember that likes, comments and subscriptions go a long way in helping me give you more. Bye for now. That's the end of the video. I hope that you learnt something new and that you found it interesting.